Hey, Steve Bedell here, coming to you from the Villages, Florida. I'm your EXP realtor in the Villages and Central Florida, whole state if you want. Okay, so let's take a look. This is our weekly update here, our market report on what's happening in the Villages. Prices going up, prices going down, prices staying flat. Oh, we got, okay, so let's take a look. I've got it laid out here so I can compare it for you with the next, uh, with last week. Okay, and we keep kind of uh, uh, in the same area here for the next couple of weeks. Okay, so let's get started first with listings and see how we're doing there, okay? So total listings, April 24th, 345. And these are MLS figures, uh, property of the villages did not share any of their information or we don't even work together. That's how it works down here, okay? So total 345 last week. May 1st, 352. So it's kind of continuing. We're staying up in that high uh, 350 area. Okay? Price per square foot, a buck. Okay? Days on market, they're pretty much about the same. 43, 44. Now a new, look at this. April 24th, we had 42 new listings. We have been up to as high as 50, 51. Uh, May 1st, 32. So hopefully that'll take a little pressure off of uh, the inventory that we have here because we have a considerable amount of inventory that we'd like to get down lower. Okay, let's take a look now at what's pending. Okay, pending properties. Last week we had 49. This week we got 39. So hopefully we can keep working and get that baby up there too. All right. Price per square foot, this is uh, three, 256, 245. That's a pretty good cut, but they've been bouncing around in that area now for the last six or eight weeks, okay? Days on market, 2727 27 of pending properties. A percentage price change in these properties, 3.7% um, on this one, 4.8%. That's the percentage of price that they've lowered since their original listing price, okay? Now we look at sold. Sold, 34 last week, 40 uh, uh, May 1st, the week of May 1st. Or the week, we released the figures May 1st for the week previous, okay? So that's what, it's the last week of April, basically. <clears throat> price per square foot, 233 to 252. Yikes, that is a pretty big drop right there. When we look at price per square foot, uh, 261, 260, 256 down over 45, and what is actually sold, it's considerably less, okay? Days on the market, 24 to 32. Um, that's better than it has been, these numbers. It has been up in the 50s, um, okay? And the... How many, how many properties have decreased their price in order to sell? Last week, 53%. This week, 56%. So, and here's the percentage of the price increase, about 5%, 4.8. All right, so what does that tell us? What do we make of all of this? Means like there's still considerable pressure uh, on price, uh, and most properties have to reduce their original asking price to get into the pending and the sold category. And it tells us that things don't appear to be on an upward swing anytime soon because they're staying, they're being held down. We have a lot of inventory, not as many buyers. So if you're looking for a place to buy, call me up, please. If you're looking for a place to sell, call me up, please, because I can help you on either end. It's a tough market selling. And if you're buying, you want to get the best property at the best price, I can show you how to do that. Okay? All right. So once again, hey, I hope, you, I hope this information is helpful to you. So if it is, please subscribe because I punch these babies out once a week. And please like this and even, hey, ask me a question, make a comment, whatever you want to do. Okay? All right. So that's it for this week. And Steve Bedell, EXP Realty, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Okay.